Come make an omelet with me. I did do my workout. Yay. Um, it was only like 25 minutes of dance and then stretch and warm up and all of that. Um, but I'm making a scramble. Um, well, really, post workout, I am drinking. I don't know if I'm drinking anything. I'm gonna drink me a premier protein shake. And um, I'm gonna do because I probably. Yeah, it makes no sense for me to try to go to sleep before work. So I'm gonna do this latte one. Actually, I really, really like this one. I do this one or the caramel, which is uh, <clears throat> this one. And they're, they're both really good, but I prefer, I'm gonna do the latte today. At any rate, I'm doing a scramble, an egg white scramble. For my, that's gonna be my next thing I eat probably in a couple of hours when I get to work. Um, and normally I put shrimp in it, but today I'm going to do crawfish. So I have thawed my pack of crawfish out and, um, I'm about to season it. I put my Zatarans in a shaker bottle. So I'm going to use that, um, onion powder, garlic. All right. So I'm just going to shake those on the crawfish. Ideally, if I had some onions or something, that would be good. I have to look and see if I maybe have an onion in there. Cause I normally, normally, excuse me, just do, um, what you call that stuff? Diced jalapenos. But I think with crawfish, you need a little onion and bell pepper. I think I might have some seasoning mix. Let me thaw that out a little bit. So hopefully I didn't over season my shrimp, but I put that on there. And now I'm about to um, see if I can find some cut up seasoning. Be right back. All right, you guys, so I did find me some seasoning in the freezer. Usually I buy it uh, fresh and then whatever I don't use, I will freeze. Be careful with this one though, because it smells really loud. Um, it's very, very fragrant. So whatever you wear while you're cooking it, it's gonna smell like that. Um, your hair might smell like that, especially if you cook it for a long period of time. Um, but I'm gonna put me a couple tablespoons of olive oil in here. Uh, take my little napkin and spread that around in the pan. There's an, um, I think it's called an atomizer. There's a spray that I'm gonna get from my olive oil. Um, I might order it tonight while I'm at work so that I can just spray the olive oil directly from the thing instead of keep buying this because I'm out. So I'm gonna put the heat on probably about seven or eight and um, let that heat up for a second. And then to the pan, I'm going to add this Creole seasoning mix. Um, I have my crawfish that I've seasoned. Of course, I'm only making one serving today, so I'm not gonna use, you know, I'll get a handful of crawfish. I'll put the rest in a Ziploc bag to use for the rest of the week. And then I have liquid egg whites. I get these from Sam's, I think a six pack, it's like $15. Um, so for each one of my scrambles that I do, I use three quarters cup. So I have a three quarter cup measuring cup right here. So I'm gonna use three quarter cup of these egg whites. Put that back. And then I'm gonna add the crawfish, the cut up season, some diced jalapeno and baby spinach. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see in the pan, but I'll get a little quick shot once I add everything. So I'm gonna put, you can put as much as this as you want. I like to use cut up seasoning when I use crawfish, especially because it cuts some of the fishiness because it flavors the crawfish with the, with the seasoning. So I just lightly defrost it in the microwave. I'm gonna put me some in here and I'm gonna put the rest back in the freezer to use another day probably tomorrow i feel like because i have the crawfish so i maybe should just put it in the refrigerator but because i have the crawfish i'm gonna be eating this for a few days so i'm gonna saute this probably about three minutes until it softens and then i'm gonna add in my diced jalapeno as much as i want um and my crawfish so you ready Okay. 
fish. And we are going to I had turn the heat up down, but I'm gonna turn it up if I edit that stuff. So we're going to saute this for probably about three minutes and then add in the fish. And for the finish. Mm -hmm. 